It was a quiet afternoon across mid Missouri. Good to get out and about across most of the region. Did see a few pop up storms. Most of them stayed out of the viewing area, though. We were able to get some good outside time in a little bit on the warm side, a little bit humid, but still pretty easy to take weather, especially headed into the latter part of July. Big time thunderstorms over central Kansas. That's associated with an area of low pressure. This is going to be kicking its way eastbound, but it looks like the majority of the activity will stay south of mid Missouri as we're headed into tomorrow morning, but we could get clipped with the northern edge of it as it moves off uh, into central portions of Oklahoma and into northern Arkansas as we head into the overnight hours tonight. So alongside that, we're going to be watching increasing clouds and for the most part, temperatures are going to be remaining mild, pretty close to 70 degrees. As you're stepping out the door on Monday, you're probably going to run into a couple thunderstorms or two, especially along and south of Interstate 70. Probably going to get a little bit of a brief break into the late morning and early afternoon hours, but can't totally rule out a thunderstorm chance and then those storm chances increase after two o'clock into the afternoon hours. With that afternoon round of storms, we could run into a couple stronger storms, but the severe threat that we were thinking about last night really has subsided a little bit, and that'll be due to the morning thunderstorms that we see that will kind of stabilize the atmosphere. Could certainly run into a stronger wind gust up to 40 to 50 miles an hour, may run into some pea-sized hail, but we're not really too worried about any sort of tornado or flooding threat as we're headed into, to, into our Monday. Uh, taking a look into Monday morning around 9 o'clock, you can see how that round of showers and thunderstorms gets going south of the Interstate 70 corridor, and then it spreads northward across the area, leaving us with widely scattered showers and maybe a rumble of thunder by uh, lunchtime tomorrow. Here's that next round that's developing for the afternoon hours. As that pushes through, may run into some stronger storms that could produce a stronger wind gust and a little bit of small hail. And then the cold front comes through. That sweeps down as we're headed into early Tuesday morning. That's going to allow for strong northerly and northwesterly winds across the region. That will filter in much drier air and much cooler air. Not looking too bad for the middle of this week. Temperatures are into the lower 80s, but it is quickly replaced. We're back to summer-like values into the end of the week. Close to 90 degrees every afternoon, and it looks like those storm chances will return with it.